Monday morning. We want to get an update on the weather. Aaron is in for Annalise this morning, and you kind of um, have all all sorts of things covered in terms of the weather. Aaron, we've got a warm up <laughs> on the way, and then a severe cool down too. Yeah, you know, we don't have to worry about the severe cool down just yet, but it is on the horizon, so we're going to give you that heads up right now. But no matter how cold it gets, it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing what they are seeing in the northeast right now. A major nor'easter impacting places from the northeast all the way down. We're seeing that snowfall in parts of Kentucky, Tennessee, and it looks like maybe even in the mountains of Georgia, the northern mountains there. So very intense. Now, as of 1 a.m., it looks like places like New York City and Philadelphia have seen about three and a half inches of snow so far that started yesterday but this upper level low just off the coast of just off the east coast is going to intensify over the next couple of days so and as it does so it's just going to dump I mean one to two inches of snow per hour across parts of the northeast and then into the mid-atlantic region as well so a very big situation there a very intense situation as far as the snowfall accumulation rates and those gusty winds associated with the nor'easter as well. So now when we get to North Texas, we've got satellite and radar pretty empty there. We've got mainly clear skies right now, but clear skies, a light wind. It does mean it's chilly out there. 31 in Denton, 34 in McKinney, 35 in Fort Worth, and 38 degrees in Dallas. Hillsboro sitting right at freezing. We've got Sherman at freezing as well. Bowie and Gainesville at 31 degrees. So very cold, a little cooler than where we should be for this time of year, but a beautiful start to February. Can you believe it's already February 1st? 58 degrees this afternoon, mostly sunny skies expected, and a nice warming trend over the next couple of days. 61 for Tuesday with partly cloudy skies. Breeze starts to kick up tomorrow, though, and we definitely notice it by Wednesday. Temperatures actually soar to near 70 degrees, and we've got those south winds at 10 to 20 miles an hour. So not exactly living up to February by the ranks. Uh, here in North Texas, it's considered the snowiest month of the year, believe it or not. Also the third coldest month of the year, but now we've got this warming trend for the first couple of days of February. Third cloudiest month of the year. We may see a little bit more cloud cover into tomorrow. We've got partly cloudy skies expected on Tuesday. Highs above average getting up to 61. Look at that warming trend into Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday, 72 degrees with mostly sunny skies expected. But we do have a cold front that passes overnight. So this is the first of two cool downs that we're expecting. We go from a high of 72 on Thursday to a high of 53 on Friday, back to 56 on Saturday. And then this is the real cold air coming. So a lot of the times when we get into winter, we talk about Arctic air kind of plunging south just in time for Super Bowl weekend, of course. So you take a look at this and you start to see this Arctic air just infiltrating a good portion of the country. That does include us here in Texas. So we put it all together with this seven day forecast. We've got the warming trend over the next couple of days. First cool down into Friday. We drop, we drop back into the 50s. Very minimal rain with that. But look at Sunday. We start at 27 degrees. We warm to 44. And it looks like most of next week features lows in the 20s and low 30s and highs in the 40s.